Hello, everybody. How are you guys? I hope you guys are good. Okay, so later on tonight, I'm hoping about 8 o'clock, I'll be all ready to go. We will be going over the full CHP report that I received from my FOIA request. I just got it a little while ago, but I did want to play this for you first, okay? Because there's so much to look at in the report, I want this to be its own separate thing. Now, this was at 9 a.m. on August 6th when Lindsay called California Highway Patrol to report her daughter missing. Okay, this is the initial call. I want you to listen and let me know what you think. All right, so I'm going to play it for you now. Call one. Call on Saturday, August 6, 2022, 9.06 and 15 seconds a.m. Catherine Harrison. Hi there. Um, I live up in Truckee, and my daughter never came home last night. And um, so I'm calling to see if there was any contact with her car overnight. Okay. Do you know her license plate number? Yeah. What is your first and last name for our records? Um, yeah, my name is. No. And your phone number? What kind of vehicle is it? Can I make a model? Um, yeah, it's like a silver 2013 Honda CRV. And what's your daughter's first and last name? As it would be on Kylie, her. Um, Kylie May Rodney, K I E L Y, last name R O D N I. Hold on, K I E L Y? Yeah. And what's her last name? Rodney, R O D N I. And what's her date of birth? 2005. So I'm not seeing anything The CHP hasn't had any contact with her in terms of her being hospitalized or arrested or anything like that. And her vehicle isn't being showed as towed or stored. Okay. 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 Um, so I don't need to go to the hospital because they, that would have shown so up. This like... is CHP only. So I don't know any local PDs or sheriff's departments. You would have to contact them all individually, but I checked for the state of California in terms of CHP. So she hasn't, she hasn't had any sort of Talking. contact Okay, with yeah, I talked to the local police up here and sheriff's dispatch, and they didn't either. So, um, and so then I have to wait, you know, I have to wait like 24 hours to, to do a missing person thing. Is that correct? Or is that just what I see on TV? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. You would have to inquire with your local department on that one. Okay, thanks okay. so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, now, in that recording, she said that she had already contacted the local sheriffs up there and asked them the same thing, whether they had seen her daughter or not. Now, at this point, she just does not seem very concerned at all. I mean, she's laughing. Is this just, is this real or is this just what I see on TV? And she's laughing about it. I mean, I... She just doesn't seem very concerned at this point, in my opinion. Now, I do want to go back and I want to replay something back here. Hold on. Call one. Call on Saturday, August 6th, 2022, 9.06 and 15 seconds a.m. Catherine Harrison. Hi there. Um, I live up in Truckee and my daughter never came home last night and... Um, so I'm calling to see if there was any contact with her car overnight. Now, it's it's just very interesting that she says, well, I couldn't. Now, let's not forget at this point, according to her, she's already talked to the sheriffs, 
the local sheriffs. So now she's just contacting CHP for all of California, the highway patrol. And she says, my daughter didn't come home last night. Was there any, um, has, let me go back. Was there any with her car? Hi there. Um, I live up in Truckee and my daughter never came home last night. And, um, so I'm calling to see if there was any contact with her car. Any contact with her car. Not, I'm calling to see if CHP um, ran into her at all last night or if, you know what I mean? If it, if she came up on the radar, if, you know, whether it be, you know, whatever. She just says contact with her car. Her overnight? Overnight. Okay, do you know her license plate number? Yeah. Was there any contact with her car overnight? What is your first and last name for our records? Um, yeah, my name is. And your phone number? And what kind of vehicle is it? Can I make a model? Um, yeah, it's like a silver 2013 Honda CRV. What's really interesting, which you guys will find out later tonight, is that in the actual incident report, they have it listed as a 2012. Also, hold on. And what's your daughter's first and last name? As it would be on her. Kylie, um, Kylie May Rodney, K I E L Y, last name R O D N I. Hold on, K I E L Y. Yeah. And what's her last name? Rodney, R-O-D-N-I. And what's her date of birth? 2005. Don't you think it's odd that they redacted her birthday? I'm not seeing anything that CHP hasn't had any contact with her in terms of her being hospitalized or arrested or anything like that. And her vehicle isn't being showed as towed or stored. Okay. 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 Um, so I don't need to go to the hospital because they, that would have shown up. And why say that? Why say, oh, and I don't need to go to the hospital? You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's like she just told you that CHP didn't have contact with her last night. And she's like, so I don't need to go to the hospital. The like, CHP only. So I don't know any local PDs or sheriff's departments. You would have to contact them all individually. But I checked for the state of California in terms of CHP. So she hasn't, she hasn't had. So I don't have to go to the hospital. You know, I feel like at this point, like you would have called, you but you would have been calling everybody. You would have been calling all over the place. Any sort of contact. Okay, with okay them. yeah, I talked to the local police up here and sheriff dispatch, and they didn't either. So, um, and so then I have to wait. You know, I have to wait like twenty four hours to to do a missing persons thing. Is that correct, or is that just what I see on TV? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. You'd have to inquire with your local department on that one. Okay, thanks okay. so much. You're welcome. Crazy. I mean, I just, no concern, no worry. I, I, I just, I, wow, wow. That's all I can say. Okay, so I wanted to make this just so you guys could hear the 911 call. We will go over everything, all of the paperwork and everything that came in the report tonight. Like I said, I'm going to try to be ready to go at 8 o'clock. Um, I will leave you with this one tidbit, though. Her car, 100%, the transmission, it was in neutral. It was in neutral. We were right about that. I love you guys. Let me hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you have not already done so, I started a global petition 
to get this case reopened and reinvestigated without bias the way it should have been from the beginning. I made a short, I made a video about it earlier and there's also a community post with the link to sign the petition in the description. Please sign it. Please share it. I will see you guys later on tonight.